Greetings and welcome back to the Eat, Live, Thrive YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bola Nile, and today we're going to discuss the coronavirus. The coronavirus, the coronavirus. Yes, also known as COVID-19, it has caused worldwide hysteria, panic, fear, and all of these things. People say they can't eat, they can't sleep, they're stressed, this is the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> so first, everyone just take a deep breath and release. And know that this is just a moment in time. This moment will pass. This is not the end of the world. So I thought it would be helpful for me to share some of my thoughts in terms of the coronavirus and some ways that you can boost your immune system to combat the, com uh, the coronavirus. So this coronavirus, the, the COVID-19, is a different strand of coronavirus or cold or flu um, that has been released into the world. It's important to realize that the coronavirus is a type of cold or flu. Most people, if you even contract it, will survive from it. And uh, especially if you're under the age of 60 uh, or, and you don't have a pre-existing health condition. So those who have immune systems that are already compromised or are over the age of 60 are more at risk and they should be mindful and definitely practice social distancing. Um, but for everyone else, your chances of survival is quite high. So we didn't panic this much with cold and flu. We didn't panic this much, you know, with all the other diseases that have been released in the world um, and released, I mean. <laughs> so the thing to realize is that there's ways you can protect yourself, but ultimately everyone is going to be okay. So don't panic because when you panic and when you fear, you're actually lowering your immune system. So that's the first way, you know, to keep your immune system high. Um, also, uh, some people have chosen to wear face masks and I hate to tell you this, the face mask will not protect you from coronavirus. Um, you are going to need to cover your nose, your mouth, your eyes, your hands, your entire body basically. And even then, some people suggest that it might be airborne and linger for a while. So um, unless you're gonna go full Naomi Campbell, uh, chances are, you know, you're okay. Just, you know, without all of those things. So um, it's, it's important for everyone to um, maintain some social distancing and definitely if you've been in environments that have been exposed to you know be mindful to um, quarantine self quarantine yourself so that you do not um, put others at risk um, my five top immune boosters to combat the coronavirus number one CMOS CMOS is such a great immune booster it is a sea vegetable obviously coming from the sea and it um, has been known to you know, boost the immune system because it has 92 out of the 102 minerals that the body is made out of. So Dr. Sebi spoke a lot about CMOS. I think he's probably the one who actually made it, you know, it, it popular worldwide. And um, has also fasted on it for three months. So you could actually fast long-term on CMOS alone and survive. So um, CMOS can, you can take the raw CMOS and you can blend it into a gel and i would recommend maybe two to four uh, tablespoons uh, of the cmos gel or you could also take cmos in a powdered form in a capsule or just even take the powder um, with the spoon and water and um, the important thing is to make sure you get wild crafted cmos and not those that are farm raised in pools so that it does actually have the complete minerals that you're looking for so my number two um, top immune boosters um, would be uh, reishi. Reishi is one of my favorites. <laughs> reishi mushrooms are uh, found at the base of uh, deciduous trees. And deciduous trees are those that shed its leaves annually. 
but reishi is so great for the body reishi is a immune system booster it also strengthens the lungs it reduces inflammation and it helps with allergies it's antiviral really important it's antiviral it's anti-tumor uh it's anti-tumor it's antioxidant and it's just good for the blood the bones and the nerves um reishi um, can be taken in its whole form and boiled and taken in as a tea uh, or you can take reishi in capsule forms. I've taken both. And usually if I ever have any like allergy symptoms, I would take reishi and I will feel the relief in a matter of minutes. So it works pretty fast and it's really great for the body. But because reishi is specifically antiviral and the coronavirus is a virus, you want to take reishi um, and you should take it every day. You can drink the tea every day. So my number three recommended immune booster um, would be oil of oregano. Oil of oregano is great for the body. It's antibiotic, it's anti-inflammatory. Um, it's really great um, for boosting the immune system and um, anti-inflammatory property. Oil of oregano is steamed to produce the oil and usually comes from the Mediterranean, some of the top high-grade um, versions of oil of oregano. Um, it's really important to make sure you get a wild uh, crafted oil of oregano. You want to make sure also that it has, um, it's the active ingredient in oil of oregano is carvacrol and carvacrol, you want to make sure it has at least 60 to 80% of carvacrol inside of it so that it's actually potent and strong. Um, but oil of oregano is itself very potent and peppery. You can't take it on its own. You need to use a carrier oil, like olive oil to dilute it. And maybe like about a teaspoon of olive oil with four to six uh, drops of oil of oregano is fine to take um, and you can do that daily just to um, maintain good health and boost your immune system you actually can't take it more than that in a day because it's so potent but oil of oregano is great it breaks up colds and flus um, and it's great for the body so that's my number three my number four uh, immune booster that I would recommend you take would be um, elderberry elderberry is great for the body and it elderberry can come and um can be used as a tea or you can make it into a syrup so elderberry has so many um benefits that prevent the uh, and it also ease cold symptoms and flu symptoms um elderberry is anti-inflammatory it helps you know to sort of um relieve stress in the body, swelling, and other um, symptoms that you have, like from bronchitis to uh, bacterial sinus infections, fever, headache, throat fatigue, cough, body aches, sore throat, everything. Elderberry is the cure. Elderberry is really great. And when I think of elderberry, I always think of basically what cough syrups try to mimic. So it's like a cough syrups are usually like artificial whereas elderberry is the real thing and it's natural so elderberry is something that you can add into your lifestyle like today and it actually because it can also help prevent those cold and flu symptoms something you want to try and take daily um uh, but yeah elderberry really great item to have in your kitchen um the number five and last uh, top immune boosters that i would recommend to combat the coronavirus would be black seed oil Black seed oil is known to basically cure just about everything except for death. And so the long list of all of the things that it can do, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-allergy, anti-tumor, anti-ulcers, anti-everything basically. So black seed oil is a great addition to add to your medicine cabinet, cabinet and your medicinal items that you're taking at this time. Um, you wanna make sure that your black seed oil is cold pressed and you wanna make sure that it's 100% and pure. So those things are very important, but definitely black seed oil is a great addition. It's anti-inflammatory and it will help boost your immune system. It will break up colds and flus and it will protect you from the coronavirus. So these are my top um, five that everyone should basically have if you have access to it definitely get it if you don't um there are some other remedies and things you can do i'll do a part two video with some basic 
um, everyday items you can find in supermarkets or in open markets that you would be able to get um, to also boost your immune system. But these are my top five. If you find these helpful, definitely share it with your friends and family members at this time. Um, the positive is right now that we're spending a lot more time with fam friends and family and we're realizing what's really important and the importance of nature and mother nature is also getting a break from all of the flights and the cars and all the movement and all the pollution. So, you know, I think this is a great time for everyone to tune inward, you know, take some time, go outside, get some fresh air, root yourself, um, meditate, you know, anything to basically, um, take your mind off of the stress that is going on in the world turn off your tv <laughs> and definitely stay away from inflammatory things some people some things people suggest will not help you or even with a lot of the hysteria people have gone to the supermarkets and they've cleared out all of the things that will get you sick like meat processed foods and um processed junk foods um dairy uh eggs uh milk which is dairy. Um, also like, you know, all sorts of things that are just not going to help you at this time. So you want to get uh, in um, adequate rest, but you also want to make sure you're taking, you know, fresh fruits and veggies and things that are going to boost your immune system in addition to all of these medicinal items that I recommended. So I hope everyone finds this helpful. Drop a comment below. Let me know what are your remedies for, you know, boosting your immune system. How are you combating the coronavirus and preventing it you know, um, your, your various ways of prevention. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, share this video with your friends, like it, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more information and videos like this. So until next time, eat well, live better, and thrive to become your greatest version.